Good morning, you guys. It is your girl, Kia V. All up in the building, all up on your screen. And some days I feel like I have the biggest face in the world. Like an apple head. An oval apple head. Y'all see it? Like it goes like this, but it also comes out like this because of the cheek bump. Like... <laughs> let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So, good morning, you guys. you're having a good day we are almost done with this week when this video is posted it is thursday and it is the last day of work here for me so i'm excited i get to sleep in in the mornings and i can't wait for it i can't wait for it every week can fly by like this okay every week except for the week that i'm gonna be off for christmas and that day's off i'm gonna have for like uh new year's that could slow down, but but everything else, that that's fine. And y'all, I slept so much yesterday, and I have no reason why. I don't think I took my women's vitamins yesterday, to be honest. And I try to remember if I did or not, but I think I was, I don't know. I don't remember taking them. And I'm like, if that's all it takes for me to like be zapped, something's going on, right? I miss one or two days worth of vitamins, and all of a sudden... I'm a vitamin deficient and I can't keep my eyes open. That might just be a problem. But yeah, I literally came home from work and crashed. I woke up at like 10 o'clock, ate some dinner, and then guess what she did? She went back and crashed again. That never happens. I am never able to be like, okay, so I'm going to eat real quick and I'm going to go right back to sleep. Like that normally never happens. Normally I eat and then I'm up. But this time I actually went to sleep. So I'm actually well rested, I guess, today. But yeah, so today, <laughs> you already see the, um, what is it, the title of this video and we finna talk about it, okay? We finna talk about it because I don't think it's something we think about or talk about out loud and I watched this video um, on YouTube the other day and they went around a college campus and they were asking the college students, listen, they had no clue, okay? They, they don't know what's going on in the outside world as of yet. But they were going around and they was asking um, females like, how much do you think your spouse should make before you pick them? And I was like, do we think about that type of stuff? I feel like we don't. Like, I feel like we go based off, our, based off of our heart and our feelings towards them. And we really don't think about the logistics of a relationship because maybe it's more than love. Listen. It, it's more than love. We just got to say it out loud, okay? And they were asking him, like, okay, so how much um, should the guy you're married to be making? They were saying some crazy off-the-wall stuff, okay? But that just lets you know the generation that we living in. But they were just like, yeah, he needs to make 500K in order for us to, like, date and get married and stuff. <laughs> I was like, you know what it says? It sound good. It sound good. And we're not even going to go based off the looks of the people and stuff. Because that gets on my nerves when people say, you don't even look like you're worth 500000 Like, who are you to tell me what I look like I'm worth? Dismiss. Just just dismiss. But, yeah. So, <sighs> they was going around asking him that. And most of them was like, yeah, he should make one hundred k. He should make 500000 He should make a million. Like, they was throwing out some crazy numbers. Now, granted, I don't know what state they're in, but still, it's ridiculous across the board because I ended up doing a little research. <laughs> and, baby, uh, the medium income per person in the U.S. of A. is $52,000. I think they said between the ages of, like, 20 and 25, it's like $600 a week. When you get to um, 25 to 30, it's like $900 a week, maybe, or per check. I was just like, listen, so somebody need to teach us something. Okay, somebody need to teach the people something. But it made me think, like, do you really go into a relationship or a dating scene thinking about it? You might be like, oh, what do you do for a living? You know, and they tell you whatever. But do you really, like, get into the logistics of it? Because it's like, should I have a criteria for that? And I feel like at my age, absolutely. At 30, you should. I'm sorry. You really, really should. Now, maybe when you're in your early 20s and stuff, 
you can like cast that by the riverside because listen baby's gonna go through a thousand different jobs and careers even at 30 you're still gonna go through a bunch of different jobs and careers and your income may fluctuate however an income must be coming in all right that's how i feel an income must be coming in because i know some people that be raising a husband in it and access denied that's all i'll say about that so i think in my case personally I just want a guy that matches my income. I feel like that's fair. Don't you think so? I'm not gonna tell you what my income is, but I feel like it's fair and I feel like it's livable. Now, is it let's go buy uh, Chanel and Louis Vuitton bags and such and such all week and all day? Absolutely not. All right, we might be able to put one on layway at Fashion Fall once a year. That's how that would be, okay? Um, but I feel like it's not a bad requirement to be like, okay, well, I want my man to match my income. Cause it can change and i'm not you know super high up on the spectrum i'm not broke well i'm not up there in the sky that is un unable to happen now if i go back to the medical field might be a little touch and go but you know but he definitely can't make less <laughs> i'm sorry he just can't i put way too much water on that sponge you see it just rained on my face dang makeup just washing away but I, I, it was just like the unrealistic expectations that these people in uh, college had on the campus that was like, oh, he needs to make definitely like 120K. Like, do you know how hard it is to make 120K a year? It's hard. And it's not even really 120K when you break it down. It's more like 60K. It's like, oh, Lordy. That's the part you got to think about, too. You'd be like, you want to make 120K after taxes or before? Because once the taxes, your health insurance, your life insurance, everything insured about you and everything not insured about you, your breath insurance, your blinking insurance, your swallow insurance, after all these insurances, they be. <laughs> the 100,000 has dwindled down to 50. I, I like, this is stuff they don't prepare you for. Like, I'm definitely going to tell my study what he does stuff. Like, babe, listen, if they tell you 30000 and your goal is to make 30000 you need to look for thirty-five or thirty-six, Because it'll dwindle down real quick, baby. Real quick. And then they'll try to give you 50 cent back on your tax return when they owe you more. But, you know, it is what it is. That's life. But to hear them just keep saying, oh, yeah, he has to make 100000 Like, girl, you're going to be single forever. All right, forever. That's why I said, just give me somebody that make as much as me. I feel like we can live perfectly fine, okay? We won't be up there with the Joneses, but we can get a couple things that we want from time to time. Everything can be split and that's all. Child, let's talk about it. Cause listen, y'all don't even know what I'm about to say, but it just hit my brain and I'ma talk about it. Cause y'all, I started doing research on townhomes live in a populated area for these prices okay okay like a one thousand five hundred dollars a month like is this new york and that means if this is new york if i lived in new york that would be like two thousand five hundred by myself on my lonesome in my singleness like who am i finna marry real quick because i want to split the responsibilities of this thing called life because that price point is absolutely atrocious. Like, I can get a house, I feel like, and then lease it for that. Oh my goodness, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. The way this world is set up, absolutely my man has to be making as much as me. Because I, we can't afford nothing less. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can't afford nothing less. We can live perfectly fine if we're matching. But child, um, would I like for my man to make more than me? Absolutely. I mean, in the dream world, of course, you know. But you ain't about to be having little small gigs every now and then and stuff, and thinking that's gonna come. Uh, uh. You have to have income coming in consistently, cause I ain't playing that. That's one thing I will say. I won't be down your throat about all oh, you need to make a hundred k, but you need to be making what I'm making. Okay. Okay. You figure that out. How you gonna do it? And I can say that right now, cause listen, I ain't rich yet. When I'm rich, then it might be a little different. You know what I mean? Let this YouTube get to popping off. Let my life get to popping off. Let my jobs and my, not my jobs, but my businesses get to popping off. Then we might have to reevaluate. And I'd be like, well, at least you can make half of me. You know what I mean? 
but yeah everybody seemed very unrealistic and i think it's basically because of social media in real life and plus we also have to remember that the way that money is i feel like amongst the young people now is different than when i was like 20. okay when i was 20 there wasn't oh you can make a million dollars being like look what came in the mail today and popping and twerking and oh looks and skin like i wasn't raised in that time now it's different and people are making a bunch of money on the internet very easily so i can kind of see why the expectations are changing in types in terms of like how much one should make but realistically baby that is only social media is probably two percent of people on the earth okay the rest of us are struggling okay the rest of us got five six jobs try to balance it out to pay for an apartment that we only gonna spend three hours at that's the problem with me that's what be upsetting me about you know the situation like if i'm gonna spend two thousand dollars on let's say a house a town home like i'm working from home that house is getting some usage okay like i'm not going to be at fifteen thousand jobs and just come to sleep in this fabulous house no i work here now <laughs> I work here now, the light bill, everything. It's because I've purposely made it because I've been here. Not because it's been sitting waiting me, waiting for me to come home after working 12 jobs to pay for it. You know what I mean? <sighs> but yeah. So I don't know what's gonna happen for me to get this townhouse, but so I'm gonna have to give and shake. But do you guys think about that? Like, especially if you're like my age and single, 30 and single like are you thinking about stuff like that because I think it's important I feel like the way that I date now is definitely different than the way I dated when I was 18 everything has intention I need to know your intentions I need to know that there's some type of plan even if you don't follow through with that plan I need to know that you can plan you know what I mean and you can actually follow through at least a little bit you know but ain't no way you coming to me and be like oh it's just going to be the love. It's not. <laughs> I'm too old for that now. Like, I see the realistics of it. Like, no, it's not just going to be the love, babe. It's, it's not. You're going to have to have a job. A real one. That takes taxes out of your check. That you're not getting paid under the table for. So, yeah. I don't think that's asking for too much. Do you? Because I could be over here like, yeah, I want a six figure. Honey, listen. <laughs> to get nothing less than the best okay point blank you're in a period but child listen just make sure you're making as much as me <laughs> all right we'll talk about the details when we're together is that bad do you think about it let me know in the comment section but i thought that was really interesting no lie though I mean, they always ask women these types of questions i would love to know men's opinion like what they be looking for. Even though they'll say like, oh, you know, it's a man's job to provide. But at the same time, I feel like the world we live in now, they can act like they want us to go back to the 70s where we taking care of the house and that's it. And they get to be the breadwinner. But now things have definitely changed and they can see that we can make big ball and shot calling money. So I would love to hear their opinions of, okay, how much should my woman make? If you're a guy and you're watching this, let me know. How much do you think your woman should make? Or the woman you're looking to marry, how much would you like for her to be making a year? That would be interesting to hear. Because it's always the woman that is like deciding that part, I guess. I don't know. Listen, and most times we don't even think about that. Most times we just be like, love. But child, I've seen these prices out here in these streets. We got to bring it down to earth, baby. I'm going to need you to be able to cover half the rent because I'm not going to be killing myself paying 80%. I, I'm not. I am not. But these prices are getting ridiculous. And you can say inflation is greed. It is not no inflation. It is greedy people. Point blank in a period. And it's so annoying. But, yeah. So that was on my mind at this morning. I'm ready to get the day over with, child. Ready to get it done. And I gotta stay up late today. And I don't want to. Today is kind of forever day. 
when this video is posted. <laughs> it feels weird like talking about the future because like when I record sometimes it's definitely not the same day. But I'm excited. I can't wait to go see it tonight. Cannot wait to go see it tonight. And I'm not dressing up either probably. Where I live we don't do that. <laughs> It sounds good, but mm, maybe if I was going to see like a Broadway show or something at the theater, the real theater, not the movie theater, I would definitely dress up. I always dress up for that, but the movie theater is about to be black. Ain't nobody gonna see you looking good for myself, I guess. I don't know, but I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely tell me what you think about this topic in the comment section. Let's chit chat about it. Okay. I love you guys much. And you already know. I will see you later. Bye. Have a good day.